Yo you guys, welcome back to another video, this is Michigan Sports Talk here, and in this one we got another Michigan football video, and today, since there is not a lot going on with recruiting or anything like that, we're going to be talking about the quarterback situation for the Michigan Wolverines coming up here for the 2021 season. So obviously you guys have all heard about redshirt freshman Cade McNamara, and obviously the transfer from Texas Tech, Alan Bowman, and also the freshman coming in, J.J. McCarthy, our five-star quarterback in the class of 2021 we're gonna be talking about all of those three quarterbacks that could be potential starters jj mccarthy obviously on obviously is not the favorite to be the starter as alan bowman and Cade mcnamara right now are the leaders to be the starters we're going to be talking about everything and giving my thoughts on the players as i watch their highlights and especially alan bowman we're going to be talking about everything so make sure you guys are subscribed for more if you guys are new around here and let's get right into today's video all right so obviously one of the struggles for michigan football lately has been the quarterback position we just can't seem to find that one quarterback quarterback that, that sticks with us. I feel like the best quarterback that uh, Jim Harbaugh has had is Wilton Spate and also Jake Rudock in his uh, uh, career here at Michigan and that was both of his two first years and then half of the third year for Harbaugh after Spate got hurt uh, throughout the season there but I mean right now we had Shea Patterson come in in the 2018 and 19 season. He did good. He just wasn't uh, good enough. Uh, obviously, you can argue about the defense against Ohio State in some of those years, but I mean, obviously, Shea Patterson was not the best quarterback, but he did do good. I think Wilton Spate, in my opinion, was the best quarterback for Michigan here in Jim Harbaugh's career. Jake Rudock was also good, but Wilton Spate really had it going in the 2016 season, but the whole team was actually really good that year, even the defense, so really hard to uh, determine that, but Right now, Cade McNamara and Alan Bowman are the two guys that are fighting out for the start starting position. Now, I'm going to uh, go over the rankings here from uh, the PFF, and they actually slotted um, Michigan's signal caller at number 70, and pretty much that is tier 4 for quarterbacks. So number 70 is right in the middle of tier 4, and that is comprised of quarterbacks who are considered average and they put that for both Cade McNamara and Alan Bowman and obviously for instance here tier one uh, is the elite and that includes Oklahoma Spencer Rattler a Heisman favorite and then tier two now tier two is high ceiling quarterbacks and that includes 22 quarterbacks in that tier and then tier three is good but not great and that and then tier five right behind tier four which is average tier five is needs improvement or needs more reps and then tier six is needs significant improvement now number 70 is out of all 130 football bowl subdivision schools so number 70 obviously is not good but for Cade McNamara we have only seen like two games of him play he came in against Wisconsin did good that game uh, after they were getting blown out though and then he came in beat Rutgers and then played Penn State uh, he was injured that game but he did get some good passes in and got a few touchdowns but uh, we did lose that game anyways and that was just not a good game at the end there but Alan Bowman, on the other hand, I watched his highlights at Texas Tech, and he actually did really good. I'm going to read off his stats here when he was at Texas Tech. So, Bowman finished his career at Texas Tech with 5,260 yards and 33 touchdowns before transferring to Michigan, and obviously he does have the most experience in the quarterback room right now, with McNamara really only having like two and a half games of experience, and J.J. McCarthy, obviously the freshman five-star, having no experience at all, and I mean, J.J. McCarthy, I don't expect him to come out and start right away. If he really is that good, he would, but I don't think he is ready for that. He has to learn the system still, and he... He's going to wait his turn, and uh, he should be good in the future, and I'm ho hoping he is the real deal in the future for Michigan, uh, really be huge for Michigan, but right now, Ellen, uh, right now, Cade McNamara is still uh, the, the leader to be the the uh, the starter for Michigan at the quarterback position, but Alan Bowman, I don't think is that far behind him. Alan Bowman still has to... Uh, 
PS still has to learn the system a little bit more, I'm pretty sure. That's what I've been hearing. So right now, Cade McNamara is still predicted to be the starter, but Alan Bowman right there behind him. Now, Alan Bowman is a good quarterback. I saw him. He could sling the ball. He actually has really good accuracy with the ball, and when he throws the ball, he throws it up where only his wide receiver can get it at points, and he also can lead the wide receiver perfectly uh, where he doesn't have to, you know, fall back a little bit and slow down to catch the ball. So that was very huge, and obviously McNamara, he had some good passes as well last year but Alan Bowman obviously has the most experience and he can throw the ball pretty dang good. Now McNamara actually completed 61% of his passes last year at for 425 yards and 5 touchdowns with no interception so that is really good there by McNamara but again he obviously there just isn't enough to uh, really you know um, I guess you can't really predict much out of McNamara as he's only played two and a half games pretty much. And, you know, <clears throat> obviously he had good showings in all of those games that he's, he's played in, but there just isn't enough yet to really make a conclusion on him or give a, uh, you know, a saying on him. But obviously McNamara could be the starter, and a lot of people do think he will be as he is predicted still to be the starter right now. But Alan Bowman... I think you might have to watch out for Alan Bowman because I think Alan Bowman might win the job over when it's all said and done. Uh, we are less than 50 days away from the football season to start. I mean, it's what, like um, almost a month away, guys. So it is coming up here pretty dang quick. And obviously our first game is against Western Michigan. And should be able to get a first uh, game win there. And then uh, at night against Washington at home will be a huge showdown and that will really uh, determine uh, to see if this team is good this year or not uh, that game will definitely be a huge factor to see if Michigan can actually compete this year or are they gonna have another bad year this year let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think uh, who you guys think the starter should be what you guys think about Ellen Bowman Cade McNamara or JJ McCarthy right now uh, the PFF is saying that Michigan is uh, going to number 70 right now out of 130 quarterbacks uh, but they didn't add JJ McCarthy they just put that for Cade McNamara and Alan Bowman that is because obviously JJ McCarthy really isn't uh, probably going to start so number 70 and lands in tier 4 which is average obviously can't really make um, or can't really say that much about uh, both of them but right here uh, the Big Ten quarterbacks on the PFF list uh, ranked number five is Michael Penix Jr. at Indiana and that is actually what that is or actually never mind I don't know what tier he is in but uh, then at number 20 it is CJ Stroud at Ohio State now uh, if I'm not mistaken I'm pretty sure he's a freshman yeah so CJ Stroud is the five-star freshman pretty sure number two in his class and Michael Penix Jr. as a junior, so obviously Ohio State has an inexperienced quarterback, but he was highly ranked in the recruiting class, so obviously he could show up next year, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see if he is inexperienced, and that inexperience gets to him, um, but we'll see. And then coming at number 26, Graham Mertz at Wisconsin. He had a great year last year. Obviously, Wisconsin had COVID problems along with Michigan at the end of the season, but Graham Mertz did good at the beginning of the season. Uh, number 36, Tanner Morgan at Minnesota. Number 37, um, all right, I'm going to try to say his name right here. Tola Tagovaola. Um, he is obviously Tua's little brother. Um, but yeah, he plays for Maryland, if you guys did not know. And then coming in at number 60 is Jack Plummer um, and Aiden O'Connell at Purdue. And then coming in at number 62, Peyton Thorne and Anthony Russo at Michigan State. And then number 70, Falls, Cade McNamara, and Alan Bowman at Michigan. Not sure how I feel about that Michigan Michigan State right there. I feel like uh, Cade McNamara and Alan Bowman should be um, at number 62 above them, but obviously I haven't really seen them play that much. Uh, Peyton Thorne and Anthony, Anthony Russell, but we will see. And then coming in at number 75 is Adrian Martinez at Nebraska. Number 88 is Sean Clifford at Penn State. That is really surprising, actually. 
Uh, coming in at number four is Noah Vedrill at Rutgers. Number 96, Brandon Peters at Illinois, the Michigan transfer who transferred to Illinois. And then number 112 is Spencer Petras at Iowa. And then coming at number 116, Ryan Hill Hillinski at Northwestern. So that is the rankings of the Big Ten right there. Um, that is everybody on the uh, list. And... Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. That will pretty much wrap it up. Um, but yeah, Cade McNamara, Alan Bowman, look for those two to be the starters for this season. Hopefully one of them d does good. And if both of them... Do now, one thing I did forget to mention is Alan Bowman actually has some injury issues during his career. So we'll see how that goes. Cade McNamara will have to be ready to go in if Alan Bowman is the starter because he has had a lot of injury uh, issues throughout his career at Texas Tech. But other than that, guys, that will pretty much wrap it all up. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, not, There's nothing really going on right now. So two videos uh, for two days in a row here just talking about, um, uh, what was it, yesterday we talked about Michigan football players selling their jerseys now in the M-Den. And then today, just talking about the quarterback situation. So, so that will pretty much wrap it all up, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, if you did, please drop a like, subscribe for more if you are new. And uh, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.